Some of the old time machinists tell me that I have to dress my wheel at the same speed that I grind at. Is this true? And if so, why? Every grinding wheel is going to have a little bit of imbalance. Even if you balance the wheel statically or even if you got an auto balancer on there, you're always going to have a little bit of imbalance in that wheel. Now, quite often that's okay because you can correct that imbalance with the dressing and it doesn't really give you too many problems. But let's take a look at this first. Uh, if we got a wheel and it's got a heavy point on the wheel, and I've represented that heavy point on the wheel by a little gray weight, let's say. Now, if that wheel's stationary and it's sitting on the spindle, well, it's going to sit concentric or centered with the spindle. I start spinning that wheel at 1500 RPM. Well, now that heavy point on the wheel is going to pull. And that heavy point is going to pull, 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 pull around and we're going to get eh, what you might call some eccentricity in the wheel where the heavy part is pulling. If I run that wheel at a higher RPM, let's say 3000 RPM, the wheel pulls more so that eccentricity is going to get bigger and we're going to pull more away from the center line of the spindle. So how much it pulls depends on how fast I run my wheel. The nice thing about dressing is the dressing can correct that wheel pull or that wheel eccentricity. So what happens is, okay, we got that heavy point on the wheel, he pulls out and when he's dressing, he pulls towards the dresser so that diamond actually takes a deeper depth of cut on the heavy point of the wheel. Then that heavy point in the wheel comes away from the dresser, so he pulls in the opposite direction and the effective depth of cut is actually less. So what we end up with is a wheel that's kind of egg-shaped, but it's egg-shaped in a good way. It's egg-shaped in a way that we want it to be egg-shaped to correct for that imbalance in the wheel. However, if we're running at a higher wheel speed, let's say instead of 1500 we run at 3000, the pull is bigger, so the correction is going to be bigger. So when he pulls towards the diamond at that high wheel speed, he's going to pull more we're going to take a big depth of cut. When he pulls away from the dresser, he's going to pull more in this direction. The whole wheel is going to come, and he's going to take a smaller depth of cut. Now our wheel is even more egg-shaped. Now let's take a look at how dressing can actually correct things and put the proper egg shape in the wheel. So let's take a look at single point dressing. And let's say we've got a heavy point on the wheel, and that heavy point on the wheel is at point 0.1. Okay? Now, that heavy point, if the dresser's up here, that heavy point is going to pull to the dresser. The dresser is going to take a bigger depth of cut. Then point 0.1 is going to pull to the side. So the depth of cut is going to be probably what you specify. Then he's going to pull away. The depth of cut is actually going to be less. And then he's going to pull to the other side. So what we're le left with is a wheel that's egg-shaped. The heavy point is actually dressed away more. The non-heavy point or opposite of the heavy point is dressed away less, but it's egg-shaped in the right way. Then when we start to grind, well, he's egg-shaped, but it's okay because when that heavy point pulls towards the workpiece, that egg shape is taken away or the dressing is taken away more on that side. When that heavy point pulls away from the workpiece, well, the dressing is corrected for that too, so we're always in contact with the workpiece with our egg-shaped wheel. So we have an egg-shaped wheel that's always in contact with the workpiece. So that's good. However, if we go back to this one, we run at 1500 RPM when we dress, and we run at 3,000 RPM when we grind, well, we don't have the right egg when we're grinding. We've got an egg that's been shaped for 1,500 RPM. Then we run at 3,000 RPM where we have more pull, and we've got the wrong egg shape on the wheel. 
or conversely if we dress at 3000 RPM our egg shape now is quite extreme because we had such pull now if we go to grind at 15 RPM our egg shape is not the egg shape we want it's actually too eggy and now we get the um, we don't get the constant contact that we need so in general we really want to dress at the same wheel speed that we grind at.